Hey, what's up, Rattlers? So if you are watching Clint's Reptiles, which you absolutely should be, that link is in the description below if you are not currently watching Clint. His channel is really awesome, huge fan. But if you've noticed, Clint has a new backdrop to his videos, and that backdrop is at this place right behind me. This is Clint's brand new reptile room. And on my tour here in Utah, we're gonna spend a couple of days going out into the field, filming other videos, and then hanging out at Clint's reptile room, kind of making it a base camp. So in this video, I'm gonna give you guys a tour, well, Clint is as well, of Clint's brand new reptile room. I'm Dave Kaufman, and I am obsessed with reptiles. So come with me and join my reptile adventures. At Zilla, we are dedicated to the innovation of caging, lighting, and equipment solutions that provide proper husbandry for your pet's long and happy life. To see our entire catalog, visit ZillaRules.com. That's right. So we're gonna be hanging out here at Clint's over multiple days, so this is gonna be kind of a composite video. We're gonna film some today, come back, film some later, but in the end, you guys are gonna get a really good idea of just how awesome this place is. So I'm with Brian Cusco and Garrett Hartle and Joey Muggleston from Great Basin Serpentarium is gonna stop by, and so we're just gonna kinda of hang out and get a tour of Clint's brand new reptile room. So Clint, this place is amazing, but it is a work in progress. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, you know, some of the things are starting to take shape. What really is only beginning to take shape are the enclosures. Like these behind me, almost all of these are enclosures that were in my garage. They're not even the enclosures I was using for my animals, but I, I brought my, my collection that I use mostly for presentations over here first, and then we were going to get going on the building of the enclosures, and then the world shut down. And yep. every, all the money went into just how do we keep from going under or however long it takes until we can start doing presentations and meeting with groups of people. And, and now, we, we, a little while back, we started doing sort of online, it was really a chat, it's not really so much about touring the room, but you, you come here and like, I, you know, I've been hanging out with some of the most amazing people. That's allowed us to actually support the reptile room on its own, and so we're starting to get going on the enclosures, but these are nothing I'm proud of. Soon they will be though, and we're Absolutely. excited about that. What we're seeing here, is we're seeing the very beginnings of this place. And obviously I'll be back. There'll be a follow-up video to see how this place is progressing. But for right now, you know, this space is really incredible. The space I'm thrilled with. And, and six months from now, we're gonna have kind of a stage one of our enclosures done. Stage two was originally what we were gonna do right away. And now we've realized we need to scale back our, our vision a little bit, do something that's possible and get it going and then what, what, what I'm really excited about, this is one of the things I'm most excited about is right here in the middle, in the future, there's going to be a huge greenhouse enclosure for Gus Gus that'll be walk-in. Fantastic. And you know, right now he's, he's actually still in the same uh, four by, by eight yep. that he was yep. in in my basement. It was the biggest enclosure I could fit down there, but that's gonna give him a lot more space. It's gonna allow you to get in there with him oh, that's and interact with him in a very different sort of way than we've ever wonderful. been able to before. So we'll take a tour now and there will be a follow-up video in the future on another visit. Giddy up. All right, so Alicia here just said that this used to be an alley and this is an old painted advertisement that was on the alley wall and then they built this and they just left that there. How amazingly awesome is that? Look at that stained glass up there. So that there's is a just famous awesome artist doorway. in Springville. His name is Jim Price. Yeah. And the owner Not of Jim this Price. place. I meant, you're right. What's his name? Gary Lee Price. Gary, Gary Lee Price. Thank you, Gary Lee Price, okay. And he was commissioned to create that doorknob to match exactly the shoe on the billboard. Oh, look at that. Isn't that neat? So you've got this shoe handle, and there's the shoe on the wall. All right, so mm -hmm. you've got a sulcata here and a Russian over there. Yeah. And you said that these two are uh, actually rescues. Yeah. 
And that now have a permanent place to live here. Yep, now this enclosure isn't their permanent enclosure necessarily. This is Big Daddy's enclosure that he just abdicated. Gotcha. And so I gave them a lot of space. All right, well, that works. Look at this little beardy up here. Not really little at all. What'd you find there, bro? Well, I've actually never picked up a snapping turtle before. I've picked up alligator snapping turtles, but not regular snapping turtles. So that's what that's what's happening. Well, it's just like an alligator snapping turtle. You just don't grab it behind the head. <laughs> just without the alligator. Right. Look at that beauty. Such an awesome turtle. It is. So yeah, I mean, wouldn't, would you say that it's just like an alligator snapping turtle, I'd minus say, the alligator? I'd say it's a lot lighter. It's still got the little spines on the tail like the alligator snapper has, you know? Yeah, look at this. I do know the one difference between picking up this, thanks actually to Clint's channel, um, and then also just seeing them try to snap at people before, to not grab it behind the head of the shell, like behind the head on the shell like you do with an alligator. Yeah, right, right. right. They, they will... They can reach right around. They can, yeah, they can like reach right around and... Give you a little owie, as it were. <laughs> sure. That's a hefty turtle. It is. That's a big boy. All right, set him down. I want to see him do his, his high walk. Yep, just about as lazy as I am. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that beauty. So Clint just told me that this snapping turtle's name is going to be Bubba Chunk. I wanted Dave. He chose Bubba Chunk, but whatever. But that's just one of the really amazing reptiles that can be found here at Clint's Reptile Room. And uh, Clint just took out Gus Gus, which is probably the, I'm going to go out on a limb and say this, probably the most famous tegu in the world. Even more than that obese red one that was circulating around the internet for a while. Not by views. Right. But I think he's the most beloved tegu. Absolutely. Maybe in the whole world. Look at Gus. He's just such a good dude. Such a good Dude. Now, I'm sure you've told me this before. I do not remember. I can't really remember what I had for lunch earlier today. But uh, how old is Gus Gus and how long have you had him? So I got him. He was probably about a year old when I got him. And uh, we've had him for the last almost six years. So I guess. So he's probably right around six himself. Six years old. He's such a good dude. Really I always nice. thought of tegus as being kind of a not as cool looking alternative to monitors. Right. But I have really learned since having him that they're really nothing like monitors. Right. They're, they're, they're very much their own thing and they're really spectacular. But he's ready to be on the ground. He's right? ready to be on the ground. I don't well, want him anywhere near as I'm track. filming, I don't want to, you know, step on <laughs> Dave here. This turtle's <laughs> name is now Dave. All right, guys, so it's yet another day. We are back to hanging out here at Clint's Reptile Room. This space is so cool and so incredible. I just want to put a cot over there and move in. So what is this tortoise's name? Gary. Gary? Yeah. Do you know what kind of tortoise it is? Uh, Yellow foot. Turtle. Tortoise. Very cool. Oh, look at this. This is buttercup. I think I met the snake last time. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah. We, if we talked about pits, this yeah. is the one I've had for a long time. But I, I love her. She's a great snake. Good to see Buttercup doing well. And what is this? I've never seen. Yeah, this what, is what a that is. Thing yeah, I don't know. I, Somebody just sent it to us in the mail. Huh? Apparently, I don't. Yeah, yeah. it's cool because it has our name yeah. on it. Yeah. That's, yeah. Wow. All right, so this is a Gaboon Viper. Somebody made this for you? That yes, they did. And they, they sent it to us. Honestly, when I took it out of the box, I didn't know what it was. And I could just see the top of the head. And I was very careful unboxing it because I was pretty sure it wasn't a real Gaboon yeah, Viper. Yeah. But when it's just peeking out of some packing peanuts, it was pretty intense. And then <laughs> we had it sitting around our house and it kept scaring the pants off of us. Because, you know, I'd walk around and I'm, I'm startled to see one of my snakes is out and cranky right and a gaboon viper right right that's all but stuff the detail on that is amazing oh it's incredible wow very cool all right so here's the tortoise pen yep and it's still getting finished up there will be another level up here for some smaller tortoises uh and then there will be there will be heat though right now he gets really good heat and light during yeah. the day through here so we decided to go ahead and move him into the big pen Fantastic. even before it's all done and look at that big guy and he's only half his size. Yeah, he's gonna get bigger. He's gonna get bigger than you guys. <laughs> Unless you really let yourselves go. <laughs> and then you've got, like, you build a little bench here for people to sit and 
Give them a pet. Yep, because this this is not meant to be a zoo at all. Yeah. It's meant to be a reptile room, like a dream reptile room, where you can come and have experiences with reptiles. And you know, and, and you know, we'll, we'll host events here. It's gonna be it's gonna be a really place. This is so amazing. This is a rack that somebody gave me, and I just it was in my garage unused, so I brought it over here. I got this pipe before I noticed this, but it has my initials. Clint Laidlaw. Ah, ha, 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 ha. That is just fantastic. <laughs> and 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 it's also got a smiley face. You know, it's kind of got see, everything you want. The smiley face. Now that is a special pipe. It is a special pipe. Sure. All right, so let's and go this, over here. And this fan we want to from see uh, this Ramen face. Reptiles. I've, I've really appreciated her artwork for a long time. Well, she sends this to me. Oh. Look at that. It is exactly Side the same. Smiley face. Exactly. As the smiley here, face. Here. Look, it even has a smiley face. Look at that. Isn't that the nicest thing? That is just so cool. She nailed it. Fantastic. All right, so Joey Muggleston from Great Basin Serpentarium has joined us. He's hanging out here with us, and he has brought, look at this, this big box of awesomeness, and these are some of the reptiles that Joey works with. Um, look at this. Can we just take a look at this real quick? That is amazing. And I guarantee that none of you guys have ever seen this snake before because this is the only one in the world. So this is a wandering garter snake, a, we're debating whether or not to call it albino hypomelanistic. It has the red eyes, but you see a little bit of dark pattern on there. But this one was collected from the wild. People were walking out of a restroom, saw a white snake crawl across their feet and thought, that's interesting. Ended up picking it up, not knowing what it was. And we ended up acquiring it a few years back. Why does that happen to everybody but me? I was on that same trip, actually. I was oh, people, yeah? I was, yeah, they walked up and like, look what we found. Oh, really? So, wow, that is absolutely amazing. So I've been spending some time growing it up. It was just a little neonate when it was found, and it's put on size quite well, doing fairly well. So we'll Fantastic. see if it's genetic hopefully next season. So you work with a uh, line of California king snake that just blows me away. Let's take a look at that. Look at that. I don't, I've never seen a California king snake like this before, and there's a reason for that, because again, this is not the only one in the world, because you have tons of these, mm -hmm. but this is basically your bloodline, isn't it? Uh, we've been working with this. We've seen one other person have, two of them hatch out, and I don't know whatever happened to those two individuals. We weren't able to get them when they were put up for sale, but this one hatched out from some of our aberrant, uh, aberrant striped kings. One second, tortoise is getting very curious over here. Yeah, look at that. There we have a desert that. tortoise sitting over there, and he's yeah, he's already tried to bite my feet, you know, several times. But anyway, back to the king snake. Yeah, here. so this one hatched out. We just had um, a pretty small clutch from one of our aberrant females, and this thing popped out of it. And we have a few of these thick striped cow kings that we're working with, trying to clean up the pattern on the side. So this one was born with a black belly. Let's see if you can show yeah, the belly on there. Yeah, I was going to say the belly. Got a black well, belly. Look at that. And that thick dorsal stripe. And the sides were perfectly clean, but you'll see some variation there as to how much you have on the sides. And as they get older, you see a little bit of color coming in between the scales there. God, it's just an amazing king snake. This is another one of your uh, reptiles that you work with that I'm really excited to check out here. And wait till you guys see this, and you'll see why I'm excited about this. There we go. Whoa. There we are. So this is your blue spot teamer monitor or your Rhode Island teamer monitor or your teamer monitor or your peacock or Offenbergs. They sell under about four or five different names, but if you picked up a teamer monitor from about 2004 till now, it's probably one of these. Yep. The name just depends on how much you pay for it. Uh, they start off blue like this and most of them within a year or two lose all their blue. This is one of, I think, nine or ten of my adults that has kept it blue for some reason. That is probably the best individual specimen of this species I've ever seen. So, you know, I really like the obscure lizards out there, the lizards that are so unique, but not a lot of people know what they are. And this next guy here, this is one of my favorite lizards. So this is a Chinese crocodile lizard. These are just amazing. So that's the adult, and that's what they look like as little babies. This one actually was one that I produced back in 2015. Um, from captive bred parents that we picked up in, I think, 2008 from Gama International. But we're working with, I think we're at eight different bloodlines now with all the pairs that we have. Such an amazing lizard. And you can definitely see why these are called crocodile lizards. Look at these scoots along the back. 
just like a crocodile. All right, so you also brought a bunch of arachnids and we're going to film that video for my all new Animal Adventures channel. Uh, but thank you so much for kind of sharing some of the really cool herps that you brought here. So if you love arachnids and want to see that episode, it is going to be on my all new Dave Kaufman's Animal Adventures. That link is in the description below, but uh, we're just going to kind of continue to hang out here until the wee hours of the morning, playing with all these reptiles and just really kind of hanging out and talking reptiles, which is, I can't think of anything more awesome to do than that. What you got there, Brian? I got a false water cobra. <laughs> you certainly do. And we're being friends. How oh, could you be super cool? How can you not be friends with a water cobra? Especially one that is false. For the record, it's not the water that's false. It's the cobra that's false. It's the cobra that's false, not the water. That is authentic water. Yep, that is real water. That is a false cobra. And he's been featured in your videos before, I recall. He has, yes. He was, uh, when, I, when I unboxed him, he decided to bite me. Uh, I had it coming, it's just I wasn't watching him. I was making a video and uh, he gave me one warning nip that I thought was a nip, but then when I looked down it didn't look like one and then, it then was he got a warning. me and it was great. And then, uh, and then we did a full video on false water cobras. I wanted to let him get some size so he'd get some idea, but they're so incredible. Yeah, these are absolutely incredible snakes. But I, do you notice, but, do you notice how Brian has been holding this snake and it hasn't sprayed copious amounts of feces all over him? I do that with my indigos though. You, you spray copious amounts of feces, feces yeah. on them? Yeah, that's uh, how we build our relationship and make it stronger. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but, that's how I build most relationships. But that stronger. head size and scalation, when, especially when they're bigger, it's very reminiscent of the indigos. So, you know, to me, like, it's, it's number two in looks, and, but it doesn't have some of the downsides of that. Indigos that I don't care for. Now, uh, are, are, are you aware that you just said number two? Oh, of course. Yeah. Okay. That's what we've been discussing this whole time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Clint, this is, wow, this is like a dream come true. This place is really amazing. Is. So I just want to say, this place is stinking rad. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> no, thank you so much for having us over here and giving us a tour. This place is amazing. Can't wait to come back and see how this place grows. Well, uh, we are really excited to just to see where it is down the road. Honestly, it wouldn't have been possible without so many people that made this dream come true. Absolutely. And that are still continuing to help us so that it doesn't die during COVID. Right. And so it actually can become a reality, what we, what we had in, in mind. So Fantastic. we're excited, thanks for being here. Absolutely. Well guys, that is what Clint's brand new reptile room looks like. This place is such an awesome space. I wanna just say congratulations to Clint for making this all happen. Such a cool space. So thanks for watching guys, and until next time, love the planet and rattle on.